It looks like Geno Smith should have kept his helmet on in the locker room Tuesday. The Jets quarterback was clocked square in the face Tuesday morning by reserve linebacker I.K. and Impale, who broke Smith's jaw with the blow. Jets head coach Todd Bowles announced Smith will miss six to ten weeks and will have surgery. Bowles said about the fight, quote, it was nothing to do with football. It was very childish. He got cold cocked, soccer punched, whatever you want to call it in the jaw. He's got a broken jaw, a fractured jaw. And Impala was immediately released after the incident, but it was not his first outburst of off-the-field violence. The 2014 sixth round draft pick punched an off-duty cop during a bar fight while he was at Louisiana Tech, an incident that led to him being pepper sprayed and then tasered. Backup Jets quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick is now expected to start the season. It looks like Geno Smith should have kept his helmet on in the locker room Tuesday. The Jets quarterback was clocked square in the face surgery. Bull said about the fight, quote, it was nothing to do with football. It was very childish. He got cold cocked, soccer punched, whatever you want to call it in the jaw. He's got a broken jaw, a fractured jaw. And Impala was immediately released after the incident, but it was not his first outburst of off the field violence. The 2014 sixth round draft pick punched an off-duty cop during a bar fight while he was at Louisiana Tech, an incident that led to him being pepper sprayed and then tasered. Back Tuesday morning by reserve linebacker I.K. and Impale, who broke Smith's jaw with the blow. Jets head coach Todd Bowles announced Smith will miss six to ten weeks and will have 